everybody, welcome back to Eastern Promises, EU4 multiplayer featuring myself as well as Mathis and Arumba. Say hello. Hi, how are you? Hey there. Pretty good, all you? Alright. Hey, yeah. You doing alright? You know, I okay, didn't ask for your life story. Hey, I just <laughs> want to talk to Mathis here. Yeah. We're trying to have a conversation. Oh, sorry, okay. Wanna be my ally? Yeah, Me? sure. Alright. You wanna gang up on another one? No, no. <laughs> Not right now. He's big. Um. He's big and scary. Well, you're gonna be a chicken about it. probably end up in trouble. <laughs> Actually, you know, you have a lot of men now. I actually have more men than than he does, just so you know, Mathis. He has oh. 42,000, 43, basically, and 28,000 manpower. That's that's quite sizable. That's insane. Yeah. How many men do you have? 33. You're not in the damn ledger. It's annoying. I'm not? Oh, because you haven't noticed me yet? I still don't know about you. Hmm. I'll, t I'll tell you how, much, how many men he has. I have 33. I'll just tell yep, you. Yeah, 33. You guys like, destroy me in far, as far as numbers are concerned. <laughs> Austria and Ming right now are tied at the top with 63. Then Ottomans, Muscovy, Poland, Vaginagar, you're like sixth in the world. Lithuania, Uzbek. I could have a max of 27. That's where I cap out, apparently. Oh, what's your force limit, Arumba? My force limit's 40. I'm at 44. Um, I'm trying actually to decide. I just When I annexed one of my vassals, I ended up going over my force limit somehow. Like, their mm. troop. You know, I get I get less force limit than they get from the provinces or something like that. So it's costing me 1.47 ducats a month. So that's like 18 ducats a year to be over the force limit. So I'm trying to figure out, like, how long until my next war mm -hmm. would it have to be to make sense to pay the overage instead of just canceling and rebuilding? Makes that sense. Because I'm already at man. I've, I've you know I've maxed out my manpower cap, so it's not really an issue of using the manpower. Hmm. That's your answer, huh? Well, I'm Help. I'm looking at I'm embroiled in Western <laughs> Europe now. My oh, ally, right, the Ottomans, right. is at war oh, with sure. Castile, Castile and Brazil, mm -hmm. and Aragon. Yeah, totally. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I won't help you next time either. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you need my help with something? Well, there's a question. Is what do you what, what do you guys think? I mean, I can oh. math it out myself, but I'm curious what your <laughs> thoughts are. I never go over my force limit because I'm scared of the number. That's it. <laughs> Okay. That's why you shouldn't ask for my opinion on stuff like that. I see. Because I am a dummy. I hear that. Who's eating chips? It's not <laughs> Could me. Could be anybody. Yeah. Could be anybody. <laughs> this is a little peckish. It's been a long recording session. Shorter than usual. Yeah, it is, but... Yeah, it is shorter than usual. I usually eat before the... I mean... Uh, there's maybe someone, if they didn't show up late, I would have had time look, to properly plan right, out. Look, a, I was watching true. the Dota 2 Chinese qualifiers for the TI4, and the Chinese play Dota like farming simulator. It is so long and so plotting, but I couldn't get away. <laughs> Each game lasted 70 fucking minutes. They make you bonds have... of that stuff, Mathis. But Jesus. Mathis, you, you have fraps. You have other recording software. Why don't you just record it? No. Watch it. <laughs> no, because it was on Twitch, and I wanted to watch it now. And I if it's did. on Twitch, it'll be on on demand. No, the whole no, point I of... had to watch it live. No, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> be part of that that Twitch chat, you know? Oh, such an experience. <laughs> you have no idea. Give rares, give rares, <laughs> give rares. Yesterday it was end this shit, end this shit, end this shit. <laughs> That's all it was, because the game was going on forever. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, it's a dumb way to play Dota, I think. Because the problem is that if, if you get, you just end up playing based on your items. That's you exactly what like, it is. They are based on their items and they wouldn't push into the high ground unless everyone on their team had buyback. And if they pushed in the high ground and they died and they spent their buyback, they wouldn't push again until buyback was back. I was like, oh, God, wow. kill me. <laughs> Jeez. Like, so they just wandered around. Butterfly. And they, like, butterfly and heart is pretty good if you have that. But that's but that, no, that, like they had a fully six slotted anti mage. Butterfly, heart, like uh, battle fury. He had everything. Completely six slotted. That's silly. But they wouldn't if he died, it was like, alright, we gotta wait another ten minutes, fifteen minutes before we can go back. So let's go farm the oh. jungle and stack twelve thousand gold. Maybe it's really uh really serious business for them. You know, who wins? Yeah, you know, winning like five and a half million dollars if you get the top prize in the international. That's why two out of the three internationals, the Westerners have won. Because That's also they, true. They yeah. play super risky. Although calling like 
you know, Ukraine, the Western. Uh, yeah, all right, I don't uh, know. like, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. We have the we had Alliance and Navi. Yeah, both. Win. This is uh, See, America's I, I year, man. I have not played Dota ever since I got Factorio. That's uh. how much <laughs> it's so addictive. <laughs> who, who do you, who do you think? Do you gonna are you gonna follow the international this year, Ryan? Uh, I might watch. I might watch it. I can't say I won't, but uh, I'm not really invested. I don't really know the you know the the meta anymore. I don't know. Some of the heroes, I don't know who the most um, you know vaunted and favored teams are right now, except for the the usual. Yep, makes well, sense. Well, I I'm really looking forward to adding Pit Lord and seeing how that shakes things up. Mm -hmm. Pit Lord will be mass good teleport. Add. Techies, ultimate. give Techies. Yeah, Techies. I don't think Techies ever made it into um, Captain's mode though, did it? Uh, probably not, because he's like a piece of trash hero. <laughs> right. So he doesn't matter. He's not. He's not going to be in any competitive games. <laughs> it's kind of like when they uh, they got rid of. Oh hey, uh, Ceylon will accept vassalization. I'll just do that. Hey, I just have to get him up to one ninety. Yay, awesome. military tech seven. Yay, stop that. You're not supposed to get better. Love, shut up. I'm almost at tech eight actually. Whoa. But at tech seven, you get artillery, and I still have not built any. I should build some. Those are I think those only good for sieging, though. Good question. What? Uh, cannons. No. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sounds they like they have a, a an added side effect of making sieges faster, but no, 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 no. They are for combat. Well, Ryan, seems like you're behind. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Nobody else has them either. I'm about to. Except maybe Muscovy. Large cast bronze. I'll just have one in my army for right now. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Just one. That's <laughs> one regiment. And a regiment is going to have probably, what, 10 cannons in it? And a whole bunch of men to support it or something? Oh, really? Is that how it should it's, go? It's, well, I think about it. It's not a thousand cannons. That's true. They, they didn't have a thousand <laughs> cannons back then. It's going to be sad. a regiment. It should be a thousand them. cannons. That would be a lot. Maintenance on these bronze cast mortars. 0.71 ducats per month. Man. Yeah, you probably can't long. you can't afford that. I don't think you should buy any. Well, no. You should do the uh yeah, just do the the no cannon strategy. So it's, it's a real thing. I'm starting to, you know, modernize. I'm starting to put cannons back in the uh the arrangement here. <laughs> you going to attack Ming sometime soon? I think you should. No. No, <laughs> definitely not. Um I will attack the Timurids once I get a little bit uh, more buffed up, a little bit more cannon power. Pretty soon, I'm just going to swallow eight regiments because uh, Shagatai is going to uh, become part of my realm in the year 1507. Jesus Christ, I mean, I have 66,000 men right now. Yeah. Holy crap. The Khan shows weakness. <laughs> so they're actually pretty strong. They have low manpower, though. Oh my gosh, they're at, they're at 64,000 out of 38 force limit. Wonder yeah. I, they the uh, the if real. the AI has money, they will go way over their force limit. That's scary. It's just how it, how it plays. It 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 just spends. Hmm. That's terrifying. All right. Well, sure, I'll gain 100 ducats. That seems all I'm right. I'm just playing the peace game right now, like just not doing anything to upset anyone. <laughs> Is gonna sit I agree. On the side and just you I guys are making me feel like I really need a cannon or two, so I've got, I just bought a level three advisor. There you go. How close are and you I'm, to? I still need another two hundred fifty points to get there, Ooh. and I'm only gaining five a month because without the level <laughs> three advisors, I was at two, two points per month. That's gonna take a while. Can't explain that, man. How are you gonna keep up with that? <laughs> Oh man, Timurids, 13,000 men, 6,000 manpower. Allied with Crimea, though. Crimea. You know the <laughs> deal. All right, here's a question. T I want to attack the Timurids. The Timurids are allied with Crimea. I'm allied with the Ottomans. The Ottomans are allied with Crimea. Will Crimea get a. Uh, Will they accept the call to arms if that's something you can actually predict? Sorry, say it again. I was. All right. 
fair enough. Also, that was a confusing sentence. But um, the Timurids are allied to Crimea. Mm-hmm. The Ottomans are allied to Crimea and me. If I declare war on the Timurids, will Crimea still declare war? Well, they do accept the call to arms, basically, from the Timurids. Unless they have a truce with you, they definitely will. Okay. So defensive calls to go out before offensive calls. So if you mm. tried to call them in, they'll they'll always err on the defender if you have a three-way alliance. And the Ottomans will not join anyway, so... So basically, if you're gonna if you're gonna attack somebody who is allied with one of your allies, you're you're basically deciding to break off the alliance in order to, yeah. to attack. Unless you play in a sneaky way, which is to declare a war that the ally will join on, usually against the, one of their rivals, and then while your allies in that war, if you declare war on the other person, they're physically incapable of defending them because you can't be enemies with somebody that your allies with in another war. Right. So you can sneak it that way. Hmm. You just got to find out. Is there somebody you could attack? They would that they would definitely support you with. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. Japan is fabricating claims on me. The douchebags. How does Crimea even get this shit? They're allied with the Timurids and the Ottomans. Those are like the two big powers in this region. You you can't have both. You got to choose one. That's the way this is supposed to work. <laughs> I do have cannons now, by the way. Be afraid. Slightly afraid. Ever so slightly. Yeah, I'll be there. So, like five. Watch out. I'll I'll be there eventually. Mm. I have like not seven vassals anymore. That's good. Annexing them. That's that's good. I'm I'm really close to not even having one vassal anymore. You're annexing right now. Yeah, ninety-nine point eight percent done. It's pretty quick. Yeah, eh, eh, it was all right. Well, how much faster? How how much are you gaining a month right now? Uh, point nine. Mm, it's not bad for a while there because of my low legitimacy. Remember, I was down below twenty. I was yeah. only gaining point four percent a month. It was <laughs> very slow. But now I'm gaining one point five per month. I'm starting to get uh, pop ups telling me that like. Who the Holy Roman Empire has elected. So <laughs> that's good, I guess. Westernization. Mm hmm. It's a pretty Alliance important offer from hate, yes. It's important who, who the Holy Roman Emperor is. We really care about that stuff. Yeah, I really want to know. Oh, here's a good mission. Make Denmark's opinion at least 125. All right. That seems relevant in the geopolitical balance. Kokand. Anyone know offhand where uh, Kokand is? Kokand, anybody? Uh, is that press, it? Press F. I know how to do it. <laughs> it was more I, like... <laughs> even when I know where a country is, I use F because it's faster than trying to move the mouse around and like locate it. Nah, it just man, goes right you gotta to keep your brain smart by forcing it to do work. So if I reverse that, you're saying that my brain's not smart because I, I don't do say that? that. That's, you just you're thinking too much. You're thinking too much now. Slow it down. <laughs> you call me stupid. <laughs> no, that's not you. Don't take my words against me, Arumba. I try. I try to decipher you. Yeah, I've noticed. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Mathis, Is what are you doing? Uh, I just got a new co- uh, a second colonist. Oh. oh. Did Dang. you ever, ever end up getting that colony um, with a coring issue? No. Um, we're going to have to reboot, I assume, for that. That's really silly. So I'm just going further north. Just way, way north. You can get pretty close to getting around me, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna close off that uh, passage very soon. Yeah, I, w- I would. I'd be closer if I could actually colonize the areas I want to colonize. Nah. All right, Timurids are being straight up ganked right now by themselves. I think they're finally having those events that cause them serious problems. 14,000 men, 300 manpower. Right. They're takeable. I've got three cannons. Oh, it's pretty solid. Nice. Crimea. And chain alliances don't fire past, like, one 
wrong, right? It can. Depends on the size of the allies. Like, What if the allies if you... were the Ottomans <laughs> that I'm allied yeah. with as well? No, it's not going to go past the Ottomans. It's based on their size. They're going to they're gonna be the war leader, and they mm. can call their allies. None of their allies are going to be bigger than the Ottomans, so it's not going to then pass on the leadership of the war to that person. Okay, that's, yeah. I still don't you're, want... So you're saying you're going to war with the Ottomans? That's your plan? Well, well, my plan is to declare war on the Timurids, but they're allied with Crimea, who are then allied with the Ottomans. Okay, so if you were to declare war on the Timurids, and they called in Crimea, it's not going to matter, because Crimea's going to be... The Timurids will be the war leader. Crimea's too small to take over leadership of the war. How can you tell? Because the Timurids are stronger. Uh, Crimea is stronger, actually. Really? Yeah. As of sure. now, anyway. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know if I can actually see Crimea in the ledger. How many oh, okay. in, do they have? In the ledger, Crimea has um, 26,000 right now. No, it's not close. It's, it's, you've got to, they've got to be like twice as strong to assume leadership. If oh, okay. War, yeah, to clear one of the Timurids, they won't, they won't um, pass off the, the leadership of the war. All right. But Crimea will accept. It's so going to be both. It's gonna be a little close. It's going to be a little touch and go. I'm going to wait a minute to declare with this war. Well, keep in mind, in about a week, we're going to have a new patch. And so then we're going to have to decide, do we keep on doing this save? Or do mm -hmm. we do Wealth of Nations? Like, I don't, need, I don't know if these saves are going to be... Um, if they're going to work in the new patch. Yeah, I hope that they would be compatible. But at the same time... You know, we never really know with this stuff until we try. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no matter what it says. So uh, true with this game. Mm. Go, Korea, grow. <laughs> I'm so close to being able to successfully destroy the Timurids, but Crimea is just a little bit too scary. Military tech six. I'm about to hit tech eight. But I don't have the I don't have the numbers. I think I'll probably do it though. This will be done on the thirteenth of June, fifteen ten. So two years. That'll be my most of my overextension right there. Oh, it must be nice, Mathis. It will be when it's done. I have zero actually, so, yeah, so. I'm just talking out of my ass. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, again, I annexed somebody else, and now I'm way over both my force limits. I don't like that, how you... You get their army, but then you're over. It's annoying. Yeah, I guess you have to keep an eye on it. If you're doing a lot of annexations, which I don't really do. Crimea allied with the Timurids, but why? I don't understand. Oh. I can see your name now, and it's big. Yeah. <laughs> Uzbek. Yeah. Yeah, it's gigantic. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> the motherland. It's it's doing all right. It's it's going okay. My name is very small because I've got Ach Mechnagar or something. Excuse me. Bastar. <laughs> <laughs> right Ach in the middle. Ach It's it's mm. definitely Ahmed. <laughs> Like the, uh, the, the ventriloquist. Oh, comedian. yeah, yeah. Ahmed the dead terrorist. Uh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Ahmed Nagar. <laughs> we make ivory over here, apparently. That's pretty good. It makes sense in India, I suppose. I've got furs and gold, baby. Gold is really nice. How's your inflation yeah. looking? My inflation right now is at 2. 2.9. It's almost 3. I can't reduce it right now. Because I don't have enough. See, now the Timurids only have 8,000 men. So, yeah. Oh, oh, I got an idea here. I've got the gears are turning. I think I got a counterbalance to Crimea. Crimea. Big C over here. Big C. See, I don't think that Paradox understands math. It says that the demand for fish is at 111% and supplies at 113%. <laughs> Tibet wants military access. What? 
you can't have 113% supply. It's, what, what does that mean? I gave Tibet military access. Does that matter? I, it's probably a good thing because they'll use that to, to go to war with nobody. I don't, on the, I don't understand why they wanted it, but they have it now. So You're on the eastern coast. That's really funny, actually. I, I know that the thing went off, but I just need a second here. Just give me a minute, man. Just another minute. <laughs> like, I'm pretty close to doing this war. Which one? With the Timurids. Oh, okay. And it should work. The Timurids, I'm not sure if you can see. I can't. I don't know where they are. Oh, yeah. There are oh, no, probably about 30,000... Uh, revol revolters in their country right no, now. I can't see that. I can see two. I can see Macron and Samar Samarkand. Samarkand. They're, they only have 9,000 men total. It's really, it's Crimea that's the hard part here. Uh, but I'm thinking... I just wait a second here. Did you just win that? Oh, you just lost that. That sucks. Just waiting for morale to tick up a little bit and... Um, <laughs> Ideally, waiting for my tech to get there. Oh, no. The maximum amount of... No, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> We're all right. No, never mind. We're good. Never mind. Looks scary for a second there. Uh, and what level are the Timurids? Level five. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. So, Man. I'm going to declare war on the Timurids. It has oh, begun. Fuck. We're going to take Kokand. Karakan Yunlu will come in. Are the, oh, you're inviting me into this? Oh, I think I clicked call willing allies. Uh, you might as you might as well accept it. Yeah, I can just piece out of it later, right? It seems like there's kind of no reason not to. Yeah. Just want to... Oh, oh, that's not the right way. No, you go this way. Um, yeah, I don't understand. I shouldn't have sent that to you, but I didn't know how to call in... Or I didn't think about calling in the AI separately. So... That's my bad, but you should be fine. I just want to make sure this war is set up properly, and then it'll be good to go. Mm. Okay. And with the attrition, not so bad. Not so bad. That's what she said. <laughs> That's encouraging, I guess. <laughs> eh, that's not so bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> Could have been worse, yeah. Indeed. What's 2%? Okay, well, it's 1 A uh, couple, there are a few hundred. It's not so bad. Um, that's what she said. Yeah, okay. I <laughs> think I'm good to go. I might be declaring war on the oil rats here. All right, well, you you can handle that for a but second. I'm not going like to do that right now. I'll wait. Oh, all episode. right. Well, you just lied right to my face then, yeah. so that's cool, too. I, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Uh, Shall we call it then? Yep, sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Everyone's good. That's good. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Oh, Kara Kunyunlu wrecking <laughs> Crimea. Tear him up. <laughs> and of course, right as I want to end, I just, I teched up as well. And, uh. To what? What, what tech did you get? Eight I'm tech level eight now. You're an eight? Yeah. What? I'm on six. <laughs> How did you well, do this? I know, I know where I should be turning to next, I guess. Well, it's Go. my zero military skill leader. <laughs> just give it a second. This Kara Kunyunlu <laughs> is out, they're outnumbered by a factor of four, but they're so close to actually winning this battle and wrecking. Crimea forever. If they could just finish it, but no, I can't see how many troops are being killed and it just never ends. Oh yeah, you got him. All right, sweet. Okay. Thanks for watching. You've already heard all the all the spiel that we do at the end anyway. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. All that business. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.